Welcome to the next redstone lesson and today I want to talk about comparators. So let's hop in. As you can see I've prepared something around here and I want to start with the things because these are some blocks that can hold inventory and the comparator can detect the amount of items that are in these blocks. So if I put some items in the furnace for example up here you can see the comparator get lit and shows me that there are items in the uh, furnace. Every time I put one item in one of these things the comparator will give an output of 1. So redstone power level 1. And when I put more than one item into these items the sickness strength is not the same. Maybe I can demonstrate this in a chest for example and in a hopper because the sickness strength that the comparator outputs uh, is um, based on the amount of inventory that gets uh, into these things. So for example uh, over here uh, I have one part of five filled up and in the chest there's more space left so the power level over here is uh, not as strong as over here. So keep that in mind when you make something with detecting uh, the amount of items in one of these things but uh, keep in mind that you can detect items. So the next thing with the comparator is um, we talked about repeaters last episode and the comparator works in a similar way. So the signal from here will get transferred to this side. But what you can see is that the signal strength is the same on both sides. If I would have got a repeater over here it will put signal strength 15 on this block and that would, tra would travel um, 15 blocks. But the comparator takes the redstone power level from this redstone and puts it to this one. So if I increase or, or decrease in the redstone level it will always stay the same on both sides. But what we can see is that when I change the uh, power level this row will be one tick or well, redstone tick late um, then this one. So this one will get lit up first and then one tick later this one will get lit up. So we have a delay on a comparator as well. So that's about the signal strength. With this uh, contraption you can get a signal strength from one point to another when you add some more comparators like this the signal strength will always stay the same. You could even put a block here and get the signal from there. So you can let one signal strength travel along wherever you want it. Then the comparator got also a side input. And that I preferred over here. So what does this input do? When I put, for example, signal strength 5 on the comparator, I will get five lamps lit up and when I now activate one of these levers nothing will happen because uh, one is under five and I could do this with all these and even if I give it a signal strength of five at the side the signal will stay in the front but if uh, the signal strength is higher on the side than at the back, uh, the comparator will give no output anymore. So that's the compare mode on the comparator. There's also a subtract mode. And we can go to this mode uh, with pressing right click on the comparator. So right now it will subtract this power level minus this one. And if I now go to uh, the side and for example give it a signal strength of 3, it will calculate 5 minus 3 and that's 2 of course 
and when I give it a signal strength over 5, for example 5 minus 11, it will always stay 0. I often use uh, this mode of the comparator in my builds because I think that's very useful for building and for logic and I don't remember that I used this mode to compare signals. I always calculate something so I think this is the more important state of the comparator when you're um, working with two signals like this. So then the next thing is that you can build a clock with the comparator and therefore you need to put the comparator in compare mode and then feed the signal back to the side and when I turn it on you can see the repeater and the redstone dust starts blinking but there is a big downside to this and that's that a repeater put on another redstone dust other than uh, this one won't blink like this and uh, I also placed it in the beginning of 1.5 often in the multiplayer world and it often then gets stuck so this repeater uh, stopped blinking as well and so I don't use this clock anymore even if, if it's small and silent um, but if you need a very fast clock like this which is a one tick clock you can also use a redstone uh, torch burnout clock which looks like this three redstone uh, torches on the side of, of the block which will then uh, power the block and the redstone which will turn off the torch and so on so if I turn this on it will start blinking and you can hear it as well but it works always fine so I'm using this one uh, and preferring this one so then the next thing that you can do with comparators and that's one thing I often use is um, that you can fade out redstone signals so when I press this button you can see the redstone lamps go, uh, go down slowly and that's because um, for example if here it's uh, redstone power 15 then we got 14 over here 14 here then when the button turns off it's 13 here 13 here 12 12 11 and so on so uh, every time we go around here we lose two redstone um, power levels so one redstone power level per game tick and if I place a block right here which I did on this one uh, we will only lose one redstone power level per uh, redstone tick so it goes down a bit more slowly and if I then replace this one with a block as well we won't lose any redstone power so this is what I call a redstone power memory cell because it keeps any redstone power that you give it uh, because over here we got 15 then 15 into the block 15 to this redstone 15 into this block 15 to the redstone and so on and when I now put this comparator to subtract mode which I did over here and then subtract a signal strength of 1 what I did with um, this comparator here it calculates 15 from the repeater minus 14 from this redstone dust and that gets into the side of this comparator and um, we can uh, count with or even calculate things with this contraption so let me show it I put redstone power level 15 in here and then this is just a falling flank detector which I um, will explain in another video which gives me a two tick pulse because uh, the redstone power needs two ticks to go one time around and when I press the button you we'll see I subtracted one of 15 so I get 14 if I press it again 13 and so on and these are just small examples what you can do with the comparators uh, you can do big circuits um, and for example uh, I did the redstone power 
a change detector with the comparators. I will put a link on the screen right now. So that are things you can uh, do with them which get more complicated and would be too much for this lesson. But I think I covered all the basic things with the comparators and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like Subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And also please let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next lessons. So I will say thanks for watching and until next time.